In this video, I'm going to be doing my unboxing and first impressions on the new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day, hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Galaxy A55 in the studio finally. Uh, I know a lot of people wanted me to review this phone, so here it is. We have the A55 in hand. Now as you guys know, this will not be released in the United States. The Galaxy A35 however will be and it replaced the Galaxy A55. But for everybody overseas and everybody in Europe, in the UK and a bunch of other places, wherever this phone is at, this device is going on sale. I believe for like $50 off. So Samsung is having some specials going on right now on their website for people overseas. They're also having some trade in deals and stuff like that as well. But if you guys are curious where I picked this device up from, I picked it up off of amazon.com. And after everything was said and done, this device costed me about $477 after all of the necessary taxes and stuff. So if you guys want to pick up this device on Amazon, you guys can go ahead and do so. It doesn't make too much sense, however, because the Galaxy Galaxy S23 FE and the Galaxy S23 are so similar in price uh, with the Galaxy A55, which is why they didn't release this in the United States. But anyways, with the Galaxy A55, we are going to be seeing a boost in our processor from the A54 to the A55. And you guys already know, uh, this is Samsung's in-house processor. We're going to be using the Exynos 1480. This device comes in two configurations for RAM. We have either 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM and two configurations for storage, either 128 or 256. The one that I have in hand right Right now is eight gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of internal storage this also has a 5000 milliamp battery inside of here a 25 watt charging rate on here and of course this is going to be a 6.6 .6 inch phone right here very very similar and closely sized to the galaxy s24 plus so this is going to be a big chunky phone right here and it's definitely going to be more premium than the new galaxy a35 with its brushed aluminum for the chassis and the clasp back we do have a glass back on the a35 but we don't have brushed aluminum so there's going to be a much more premium feel on this device but i'll get into everything else after we unbox this so as you guys can see we have the phone right here we're going to go ahead and put that to the side not waste anything else and of course we have a box right here and a thin box at that that we're going to go ahead and take out and it has all of our stuff inside of here so of course we have our warranty information and our quick start guide we have our usb type c to type c data cable and of course we have our sim ejector tool but that is absolutely everything that you get inside of this box all right guys so finally unboxing this phone so again we have this new lilac color on the galaxy a55 the same one that i got on the a35 yesterday uh, but this color just looks stunning these colors look really really nice and if you guys are curious at all the galaxy a55 comes in four different colors we have awesome ice blue awesome lilac awesome navy and awesome lemon but as you guys can see on the back of the phone we have a samsung emblem on the bottom of the phone we have this glass back right here and we have a triple camera setup with our led flash on the right side of that as far as our cameras go our main camera is going to be a 50 megapixel wide angle camera our secondary is going to be a 12 megapixel ultra wide and our third is going to be a 5 megapixel macro now as far as the video recording modes we can go up to 4k at 30 frames per second and 1080p at either 30 or 60 frames per second now on the right side of the phone we have the new key island design with this beautiful brushed aluminum we also have our power button we have a volume up and down rocker above the phone we have of course our sim tray and if you guys want to expand your storage on the back of the sim part we can expand that storage via micro sd card and of course we have our noise cancelling mic left side of the device we have absolutely nothing and of course bottom of the phone we have our usb type c port right here we also have another noise cancelling mic and we have a speaker right here uh, that's going to be a part of a duo so we're actually going to be utilizing the headset as a speaker as well so we have stereo speakers on this device and they should sound pretty good now we're going to go ahead and boot up this phone also for the front facing camera we do actually have a 32 megapixel selfie camera this is going to be capable of wide angle as well and this is going to be capable of 4k at 30 frames per second and either 1080 at 30 or 60 frames per second so nice to see that right here and for the people that want a headphone jack we do not have headphone jack on here but we do have bluetooth 5.3 
So if you guys are wanting to use your Bluetooth headsets, they are gonna work quite nicely on this. Now, as far as our fingerprint sensor, of course, it's a pretty quick fingerprint sensor, in-display fingerprint sensor, of course, and we have this beautiful display in here. Very, very big, nice, beautiful display right here. Very vivid and punchy like Samsung displays usually are. But we have a super AMOLED display, 120 hertz, and we also have HDR10 plus on this. We also have a thousand nits brightness on this display as well. So you guys shouldn't really have any bad viewing angles out in the sun. So in direct sunlight, this phone should be absolutely fine. Of course, we have Android 14, One UI 6.1 on this phone as well. So we're gonna have four years of operating system updates and five years of security updates on this device as well. So you guys are gonna be able to use this device for years to come. As for our glass front, we're going to be using Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and our glass back is going to be regular Gorilla Glass. We also have an IP67 water and dust resistance on this phone as well. So that's beautiful to see. But other than that, going through the phone, this is a big screen right here. So if you guys don't like phablets, you may not want to pick this up. Of course, we have some different bloat we're on here, like LinkedIn and stuff like that, that you guys can obviously delete. Um, but yeah, everything looks really nice and smooth. This 120 hertz refresh rate looks very, very smooth and fluid. Uh, going down to our drop down bar menu right here, of course, we have our auto rotate, airplane mode, flashlight, mobile data, our native screen recorder, mobile hotspot, link to Windows. Um, I believe there is no DEX on here though, so that kind of sucks. Of course, we have our scan QR code, modes, and multi control right here. And of course, our NFC if you guys would like to use. Um, your tap to pay at whatever cash register you're at if they accept that getting into our camera right here We can go from 12 megapixels to 50 megapixels depending on where you want to shoot at uh, We also have for our video we can shoot at 4k We're gonna be testing out the video later on uh, and giving you guys a much better idea of how this looks uh, And of course if we go into more right here, we have our fancy stuff So we have our pro modes for video and we have our night mode, our food mode, panorama, macro, super slow-mo, slow-mo, hyperlapse, uh, dual record, and single take. So that is everything that we have inside of the camera right here. I'm gonna go ahead and test this camera out though really quick and see how it looks. All right guys, so that is how this looks right here. I think it looks pretty clear, not too oversaturated. Same thing with the Galaxy A35. Uh, I think they're going for a more true to life or natural color. Uh, with their new mid-range phone so this looks pretty decent it's definitely passable for the price tag but we'll get into more on the camera later on when we do the full review but let's get into the speakers and let's get into the display on this with some videos all right guys let's go ahead and test out these speakers and see how they sound So very clear and crisp sound on these speakers right here. Of course, stereo speakers um, are very, very good on this. Of course, our headset's going to be utilized as our second speaker. And I see absolutely nothing wrong with these speakers on this device. Very, very premium sounding speakers. Honestly, I don't really even notice any sort of tin on this. So we have a very decent speaker set up on the Galaxy A55. And for people watching social media, YouTube shorts, all that type of stuff, you're going to have a decent time with this. Very, very loud as well. All right, guys, so the last thing we're going to be checking out on this phone before I give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the first impressions of this device. If we go into settings right here, we can actually watch at 2160p, 60 frames per second at HDR. And this is how that is going to look. Also, HDR 10 plus is on here, so we're going to get a better screen but these colors are going to be popping right now however no dolby vision on here just a heads up for any of you guys that were going to ask that but let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful beautiful display on here
So of course the phone that I'm recording this video with doesn't do the screen any justice. You guys can see like black balls and like black lines on this. Um, but this display looks really, really good. So for anybody that is going to be watching movies, anybody that's going to be watching TV shows, scrolling through social media, you're going to have absolutely no issues with this device at all. Also, if there is HDR content available on your phone for whatever subscription you use, whether it's YouTube or it's Netflix or whatever, or any other streaming service, it is going to look very, very good on this display as well. So honestly, really, really like the display on here. I think it's really nice, even for the people that may be going down from a flagship device to this device, uh, this is going to have a very, very decent quality screen. And I think the majority of people are going to be pleased. All right, everyone, so as far as my first First impressions on the Galaxy A55, I thought this was a nice little mid-range device. You know, we have a very nice display on this, four years of operating system updates, five years of security patches. We have the new Exynos in-house 1480 processor inside of here. It looks like we have a decent camera setup on here as well. We have NFC, always on display. Very, very decent sounding speakers on here. The problem just arises, especially for the people in the US, when there are so many other phones that we can pick up around this price tag that have better processors. But if you guys like the A50 series and you guys really are in tune with this ecosystem and you don't care about the AI features missing from this, which I feel like majority of people aren't using right now, then I, I, I can go with this device. I would definitely go with this device if you just really like the A50 series. But for the people that want the best bang for buck, I feel like you guys can get many other better devices. We have the S23 FE, of course the S24 around the same price tag. So that is where the problem arises. But as far as everything goes, I feel like this is a pretty nice update to the Galaxy A54. They definitely added some more stuff inside of here uh, than we saw in the Galaxy A54. So this is a nice little mid-range phone. Obviously, you're really going to have to like the ecosystem to go ahead and pick this up. But again, we have the S23 FE out and the S24 as well right around this price tag. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I thought this was a very, very nice mid-range phone that packs a punch with its premium build quality and of course its newer processor and stuff. Um, but I'm liking what I'm seeing from Samsung. I just wish it would have came out in the US at around 400 bucks. Yeah guys, that was my unboxing and first impressions on the new Galaxy A55 5G. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit the notification bell and hit that subscribe button. But this has been Safan from Sacre. Hopefully you guys have a beautiful day. Peace out, Sacre.